guys. In this video, we're going to be checking another build set from the folks over at McFarland Toys for the Rick and Morty line. This is the Discreet Assassin. Comes with Crombopolis Michael and has 54 pieces. It's recommended for ages 14 and up. And 54 pieces, I think, also marks one of the smallest builds that we're going to be building on this channel. The back of the package shows the other figures and other sets. Uh, basically, up to this point, the only set that I haven't looked at yet is Ants in My Eyes Johnson Electronics, which hope to find soon. As surprisingly, this one seems to be the more difficult one to find. Uh, the Discreet Assassin seems to be one of the easiest. Uh, I picked this up at Walmart. I'm sure you could find it at other places as well. But we're going to get this built, just like we've done with other videos. The only one I didn't really technically build uh, on camera was the Spaceship and Garage, just because there was a lot involved for it. I'm going to grab Hank here and get the tape cut on the box. Get this opened up. This set, by the way, cost about $8. I think it was about $8.99 or so over at Walmart. That's not to say that you couldn't find it other places as well. I, that's just where I found it. You can find it also at Toys R Us. Target, if we had a Target here in Canada, which we don't anymore. That kind of sucks, but we move on. That's with every other thing that happened in your life. It's sad. You just kind of have to move on. Put the box right there. Right there. Okay. So, let's pop out and let's hope the feet stay in place. No, they don't. Of course they don't. Our minifigure or figurine that comes in this set is Crumbopolis Michael. He loves killing things. Old people, young people, he just loves killing. He is the discreet assassin. Uh, he is a little uh, awfully proportioned. Well, I guess not. He's fairly accurate proportion to the cartoon, but he's a little off proportion than, say, a regular figure. And while we're at talking about regular figures, let's discuss an elephant in the room. Here we have... Morty from the Evil Rick and Morty set, which, if you remember, had a big glaring gap, even to the point where I chuckled and made a song out of it. Turns out, actually, I had it facing the wrong way. Let's rectify that right now. It's not as if I could go into a time machine and portal my way back to the time when I would have had this done right, but that's what it should have looked like. It's still kind of a bit of a gap. Some could argue the fact, well, the gap is now there because it's been warped. I don't know. Uh, we will go ahead and take the arms off. If the arms are successfully capable of being taken off, eh, maybe we'll just leave it for now. I'll do this later. I just wanted to throw this in here because I did actually have it the wrong way. See how there was one smooth, one rounded side, one flat side? I need to have this part on the flat side. So that's actually how it should have looked. There, we've vindicated ourselves. All right, so let's have a look at the build instructions that come included with the Discreet Assassin. Oh, I always do this. I always do this. Ugh, grabbing the sticker sheet that fell on the floor. Not really sure what that is. Looks like it's uh, reflective glass. Just move the camera back over. All right, so we're gonna get this built. We'll move Crumbopolis Michael over there for a second. Again, it's only 54 pieces, so it's pretty straightforward, I would think. That's hope. I uh, jinxed myself for saying that. We've got our token plumbus. It's right there, the plumbus. I think pretty much every set has come with these, so we'll just I'll add it to my pile of plumbus. Hey, let's go ahead and get this built. I'm excited. I actually quite like these build sets. And we are going to first... Oh, I want to make sure I've got the right pieces here. I think this is the part that requires the stickers. Yes, it is. I'm going to, I'm going to apply these pieces first. I don't remember who it was, but somebody commented in one of my videos uh, recently. It took you this long to build... I think it was a piece... It was probably like 96 piece build set. Yeah, yeah it did. My biggest problem is while I'm building these, I like to just, you know me, witty banter. I just like to talk about stuff, which I suppose does add to the little bit of extra time involved to build these. But you know me, that's the, I'm the guy that does all the talking. I do a lot of talking while building these build videos. And hopefully, I'd like to think I add a little extra 
oh, I don't know, je ne sais quoi to these videos above and beyond just simply building it. Anybody can build it, but what else do you bring to the table? That's the question I would ask. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, I think we're just using these regular one brick pieces. I'm also gonna try my best not to use the word pieces so often in a video. It's hard, you know, when you're building something, specifically like a brick build, it's hard not to go back to using the word piece. I'm sure there could be a drinking game based on the number of times I may say that. Uh, now we are going to take the front parts. We're gonna kind of finish off the front of it and we need to do that twice. Get a load of me, I'm doing this in record time. We're gonna follow the same pattern by adding another piece, there I said piece again, to the top and to the other side, giving us a nice little uh, doorway here. Uh, flip the page. I don't have any music for the page, but we'll just flip the page. And now we have to apply another sticker. This sticker is the little console. Little uh, button panel here. We're gonna very carefully, very cautiously apply said sticker and walk away. Walk away. I think I think that's actually, I think it looked okay. Now we are going to take, I need to find, help me out here, help me out. I need to find, I think it's this. Yeah, that looks like that's the right, I sort of questioned it for, for a second. Just double checking here. Yeah, I think that, I think that goes onto the top here. Ugh, which is very difficult. Let me just double check here. I want to make sure I've got this. I've got this right. No, I don't. Aha! No, I don't. That goes on top. So technically, I was off by one. So what I'll do is I'm going to move the sticker piece up. There we go. That's going to go to the top. I always manage to miss one step. Be kind, please. That's going to go to the top because we what we really need is a single on the top. We didn't need a double. That made no sense. I was I kept looking at it. I'm like, no, no, that that doesn't make sense. Sometimes I have the awful habit, and maybe you guys can, maybe you guys are bad for this too. You you kind of look at instructions, but then you look ahead instead of kind of focusing on say this section. You quickly glance ahead. Okay, what else do I have to do next? No, 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 hold on a second, Slim. You need to go back. You need to follow the instructions in order. That's why there's numbers. It's not just so you could just randomly, well, you know what, I'm gonna pick this number. I'm just gonna start here. Well, I think you really should go back a little bit. No, nope, no, nope. I'm gonna start right here. I'm also going back to the bag because I noticed there was one piece left. Just dropped it on the floor. Hold on one second. Yes, I spied with my little eye. I saw this piece was still left in the bag. So I went back, retrieved it, dropped it on the floor, picked it up. That's where we've left off. Now we're going to go ahead and invert essentially the exact same brick as these ones down here. We flipped it up to the top. And now we have to do the same on the other side. Yes, this is without having already picked up the Ants in My Eyes electronic set, which is actually from one of my favorite episodes of Rick and Morty. Um, this seems to be the less uh, piece build set of all the Rick and Morty sets. A couple of people have also asked, are you planning on picking up more? Like for example, the South Park ones? The answer is yes. Not sure when, but the answer I can give you is yes. So stay tuned for that. Make sure of course you're subscribed to this channel, always being up to date with new stuff that's going on, make sure, of course, this is all yada yada yada. This is stuff I usually mention at the end of the video, but I got a little bit of time. We're just building stuff after all, so I'm gonna mention to you while I'm applying this sticker, that make sure you hit that little bell notification below this video. Why do that, says somebody, yelling from the crowd? Well, that's because you need to turn on the notifications. Why do I have to turn on notifications, says somebody else from the crowd? Well, that's just because then you'll always know when new videos are coming onto this channel as I've applied the sticker, the sticker, as they say Francais. That's not actually how they say it in Francais. Uh, that's gonna go to the top. That's gonna go to the other side. And we've pretty much finished almost all of it. There's still more to go, don't get me wrong. Now we are going to build, I'm gonna take these two parts, 
I'm going to put those to the side because I don't actually need them just yet. I'm going to take now these two bricks, single brick, single brick, and then we're going to put these together. That's going to go on one side, kind of making ourselves little archways here. And we've got this, which actually goes like this. And that is going to go, I believe it's just going to attach to the side. I'm just double checking, double checking, double checking, looking at the manual. That seems right. And I guess the only other thing we need to do, oh, there's, an average, there's the plumbus. Here's the breakdown of the plumbus, just in case you were wondering. Plumbus has a flube, a grotus, a dingle bop, a grumbo, and chumble. Now you know. Flip to the next page. We have one more step to go, consisting of a couple of individual bricks that have to all come together. That's going to go there, that's going to go there, and then we're going to repeat everything we have just did on the previous step, now on the other side. I don't know why that reminds me of Reading Rainbow. It's just something that just popped into my head. Things pop in my head from time to time. I generally say it, though, when it just pops into my head. And there we go. I think that's it. I think that's that's the whole set. And it shows how to build Crumbobolus uh, Michael. Yes, okay. And then he basically just stands in the middle. And you can give him his little gun. Which I think Rick... Isn't it the, Rick, the one that Rick sells him? Put it into his hand. It sits a little tight. There we go. Oh, by the way, posability on this guy. I almost forgot all about that. Head rotates. Uh, arms rotate all the way around. Hands rotate. Eh, hands rotate. Waist. Legs. And uh, unfortunately, they put basically the, the connector point of the knees. Well, they, they connect it by the knees, so you might find yourself having the legs popping off from time to time. And there you go. So put him all together. Put him in between the door frame. And there you have, there you have the discreet assassin. Only 54 pieces. That took no time at all. I was done just like that. Pretty fast, I, I have to admit. Um, it's not one of the more interesting of the build sets. It's a little more on the simplistic side, but it comes with a pretty cool little figure. And I, I do like the figures, even though the uh, the assembly on some of these, and again, I go back to Evil Morty here, still a bit of a gap. I guess I could put the head down all the way, but there still doesn't fix the matter. I really wish that the torso could have all been one piece which is kind of like the ongoing trend of something I say in these videos. Like the torso piece should have all been one. I know they want to make use of the same torso and then just add stuff over top of it, but it would be so much easier if that was just one piece. Chalk up another video finished, ladies and gentlemen, of the viewing audience. Today we were having a look at the McFarlane Toys, Rick and Morty, The Discreet Assassin. 54 pieces. Easy peasy. Took no time at all. If you guys like this kind of video, certainly hit it with a like down below. And hey, now, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, I mentioned this in the earlier part of the video, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. You won't miss a beat when it comes to future videos. If you also like Rick and Morty, whether it be the figures or the build sets, I've got a playlist all for Rick and Morty. So if, you, if that's your thing, you can go check out your thing over on the Rick and Morty playlist on this channel. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.